Good morning, everyone. Today is April the 24th, 2024, and this is your thought for today. Let's go ahead and start with a word of prayer. Father, as always, we thank you for bringing us together as a family to look to you for instruction as we prepare for this new day. Thank you for a good night's rest, and we look forward to how you're going to use us and how you're going to work through us to be a blessing to our brother and sister and young person on this day. For us in Jesus' name, I do pray, amen. Good Wednesday to everybody. I pray that everything has been going well. Listen, y'all, we're almost there. We're almost to the weekend where we can refresh ourselves, restart ourselves, and then start all over again, because that's really what's been going on these last few weeks. I just want to uh, <clears throat> say what I always say to you all is if I could please, if my prayer words could please pray at this time that everything goes well today in our time together. Don't want any distractions to come and prevent us from the blessing that we all shall receive from being in each other's presence today. Before I share the title of our thought for today, I just want to start with this word of scripture. This is your reminder. This is something that you can go to as you go uh, throughout this day. If you want to read this before you go to bed at night, Whatever it is, that you, however you want to do it, I encourage you to read this psalm whenever you get the opportunity, preferably today. We're back in Psalms 145. Uh, on Monday, I read to you verses 1 through 10. Now today, I'm going to read to you verses 11 through 21. Um, once again, this is Psalm 145, and I'm going to read verses 11 through 21, and it says this, They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. They, or thy kingdom, is an everlasting kingdom. And thou dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall and riseth up all those that be, that be bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon thee. And thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand and satisfies the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will, I said, he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will be but all the wicked will be destroyed. But all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. And let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. I'm going to read it again. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom 
and talk of thy power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and thy dominion endureth through all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall. Yes, we're going to fall sometimes, but he upholdeth all that fall and riseth up all those that bow, that he bowed down. The eyes of of all wait upon thee and thou givest them their meat in due season can i get a witness out there where god has given your given you your meat in due season thou openest thine hand and satisfies the desire of every living thing the lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works the lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him when you call upon him, he's there. He's always there, waiting. To all that call upon him in truth, he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. Mm -hmm. He also will hear their cry and will save them. Hear that. Let that resonate with you right now. He also will hear their cry and will. Not he may. Not he might. And will save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. There's going to come a day. When trouble is going to be swallowed up, when pain is going to be swallowed up, when suffering is going to be swallowed up. My mouth. My mouth and your mouth. My mouth and your mouth shall praise or shall speak the praise of the Lord. And let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Amen. Today, I want to spend a few moments with you on the subject. I have decided. I have decided. I I have decided. So so I'm going to share some scriptures with you and we're going to um, just look at these scriptures and receive encouragement from these scriptures. And then I'm going to pray with you and then that's going to be it. I have decided. I have decided. So what have you decided then, Robert? Uh, I'm, I'm glad you asked me. Ecclesiastes 12, 13 and 14 says this. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. Fear God. Uh, I have decided that I'm going to do what God has entrusted for me to do. I'm going to. I uh, love God with all my heart, mind, and soul and strength. And I'm going to love my neighbor as myself. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm not going to tear down my brother. I'm not going to look down upon my brother. I'm going to uh, uh, raise him up. I'm going to take, extend my hand and help him when I see that he is in need of help. Because there was a moment in time in my life where God extended his hand, gave me help. So if God has done that for me, then I'm going to do that for my brother. So as the scripture just said in verse 13, because we're about to go to 14 in just a second, it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. For God, fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. It's not 
about getting money. It's not about having a name for yourself. It's not having your name in lights. It's not having that car. It's not having that house. It's not having that bank account. It is to fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man and woman. Then God says something very interesting. He says, for God shall, not he may, he's considering, he's thinking about, no, no. It says, for God shall bring every work into judgment. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Every work into judgment with every secret thing, rather it be good or rather it be evil one day. You and I are going to be uh, standing in front of God and our book is going to be open. Come on, somebody. And in this book is going to reveal every secret thing. Rather it was good or, or rather it was evil. Yes. So today you and I need to decide What's going to be in that book? Yes. Every day we wake up, we have the opportunity to be God's representatives or someone else's representative. God wants us to fear him and to keep his commandments at the forefront of our mind. So I have decided that I'm going to fear God and keep his commandments for this is my duty. Next, I've decided that I'm going to follow what Lamentations 3, 24 and 25 says that the Lord is my portion, saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. I don't put my trust or my hope in anything in this world. My hope is built up on him because verse 25 says the Lord is good unto them that wait for him to the soul that seeketh him. When I wake up every morning, I, I'm very intentional. I'm asking God, what is it that you want me to do today? Who is it that you want me to reach today? I'm listening. I'm in tune with his, uh, uh, making sure that I'm listening to his Holy Spirit. I'm trying to clean out everything that's inside of me. Cleaning out Robert White. Robert Lee White the third for those of you who don't know the full name. I'm trying to clean out Robert Lee White the third because I don't want anybody to see Robert Lee White the third. I want people to see the God who I serve, the God who saved my life, has saved my life over and over again. That's what I'm striving for each and every day. So I've decided that the Lord is my portion. Therefore, will I hope in him because I know that the Lord is good and I will wait for him because my soul, I seek after him. The next thing that I have decided is I, I, I'm going to have that same response to whatever befalls me in this life. That, that these young men had in, in, in Daniel chapter 3, verses 16 through 18, which says, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said unto the king, or said to the king, O king, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, uh, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us uh, out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve uh, thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Uh, I've decided that there is nothing, uh, no one or anything that is going to cause me to turn my back 
on my God. So I'm going to say when these things come, I'm not careful to answer you in this matter because the God whom I serve will deliver me from whatever situation that I am in. But I want you to understand if he does not I want you to know that I'm still not going to serve you. I'm not going to worship you. I'm not going to give you the time of day because you did not wake me up this morning, trouble. You did not start me on my way, evil. God woke me up and breathed once again into my nostrils the breath of life. Yes, he did. So I have decided that I am going to serve God no matter what. You know what else I've decided? That I'm going to trust in the Lord with all my heart. I'm not going to lean into my own understanding because my, my own understanding is fickle. Just like my feelings are, are fickle. They, they change. I can't trust my feelings. Uh, one one feeling, I, I could be happy and, and, and everything's going greater than it. With another feeling, uh, 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 there can be, uh, uh, um, I guess you can say, sadness for whatever reason. Um, looking at uh, 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 where I am at this certain stage. It, it, it could take me there, but, but I don't trust feelings too much because, as I said to you, they're fickle. So, so I'm going to acknowledge you, Father, in all my ways so that you will direct my path. Uh, God will direct your path. All, all you have to do is you, you have to decide today, my brother, my sister, young man, young woman, that you want God to order your steps because I guarantee when he orders your steps, he's going to put you in places that you never thought that you would be in. Because you have been intentional, you have said, you've given him, as a friend of mine, Brian Allen, shout out to Brian Allen, he always says, Lord, we give you permission, permission to have your way. Yes. So we need to give God permission. As the song goes, I, I have decided to follow Jesus. Yes. I've decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Let that be your anthem today. That you're going to follow Jesus and you're not going to turn back. But I also want you to decide to build your hope on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Yes, hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. And, and then I want you to build your uh, 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 uh. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, it says, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name, on Christ, the solid rock I stand. Now, hear this last part. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Build, stand on the solid rock. You know what else I've decided, ladies and gentlemen? My, uh, 
Yum, man, yum. I decided to put on the whole armor of God that I may be able to stand against the vows of the devil. You know, today, there are going to be so many things that's going to come at you from the moment you wake up. Probably you had a rough night when you were sleeping, probably had a bad dream. I, I, I mean, we need to understand that this battle that we're in, because we're in a uh, we're in a spiritual battle here. Uh, the the text goes on to say that I didn't put in here. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We we're wrestling against principalities, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So so there's a spiritual battle going on, and we need to understand that we are on the winning side. Yes. But we need to put on that whole armor so that we can withstand the vows of the devil. What else have I decided? I've decided that I'm going to follow uh, Matthew 16, 24 that says, Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and Follow me. That's what I just got done saying to you all a few minutes ago that I'm very intentional in the morning that I die to myself so that the spirit, the Holy Spirit can come in and lead me and direct me. And this is not a one time thing. This is not a one hit wonder, if you will. This is a continual continual, just like I drink water every day, just like I eat every day, just like I go to sleep at night. That's what I do every single day. Uh, my prayer is, Lord, what would you have me to do today? And I guarantee he will use you. He will bless you. He will send you into spaces and the places that you never thought you would, and you will be amazed of what he will do through and for you because you're going in with his power. Furthermore, I have decided that, uh, that I'm going to apply John, not John, Joshua 1, 9 to my life. And it says this, in verse 9, have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, uh, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whether soever thou goest. Now, I, I know that uh, this title says, I have decided, but I want to change it and to say that we have decided that we're going to fear God and keep his commandments. For this is my duty, that, 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 that we have decided that the Lord is our portion, that, that we have decided that we will not bow down nor serve or worship an idol, that, that we have decided that we're going to trust in the Lord with all of our heart. Uh, and lean not into our own understanding and acknowledge him in all our ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our path. We have decided to follow Jesus. So we're not going to turn back. No, we're not going to turn back. We are going to hold on to Christ, the solid rock I stand, because we understand that all other ground is sinking sand. We understand that we are going to put on the whole armor of God because we understand that the devil has a lot of things that he wants to use to take us out. We have decided that we are going to deny ourselves and take up our cross and follow God. But lastly, we have decided that we are going to be strong and of a good courage. We, we're not going to be afraid. We're not going to be dismayed. For we recognize that the Lord our God is with us wheresoever we, we go. Excuse me. So, 
I want to thank you today for deciding to choose the creator, the one who knows every hair on your head that's going to be with you today, that's going to help you through every situation today. I pray that you receive the blessing from this thought for today, and I will see you next time. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for my family today. I pray that they will understand that you are with them every step of the way and that there is nothing that you cannot and will not do for them and through them. Thank you, Lord, for your sacrifice. Thank you for your love and thank you for the wonderful experiences that we should have today. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all and I'll see you next time.